So, the overall energy for the week ahead will give us the following. We are being asked to look out for each other, to feel how our fellow um, sentient beings feel. Um, the feeling that I'm getting is that what, what, is, what is meant by this is that as empaths, let's be empaths this week. We have the golden eagle, which means we can see and feel and sense when um, the overall energy and therefore the people that create it are not um, at their best. And the river otter, that's the symbolism here, um, is holding hand with other otters so they don't drift off when they go to sleep. That means that what is asked of all of us this week is to not have arguments with anybody. Um, try to find common denominators with, with whoever you encounter this week and give a hand, uh, sorry, give a helping hand to those in need. And sometimes a helping hand is just a kind word. You know, uh, it could be in passing when you go shopping somewhere. Um, things like this. So it's not massive things they ask of us. What they're asking us is really, really important um, to, uh, what's the word? To, to be alert, to see what's going on and to reach out to people who might not feel all that great. Okie dokie, that was the overall energy for the week of February the 8th to the 14th, 2021. Now we're going into the very first star sign of the week, which is still Aquarius. Aquarians, short and sweet. This is the week for you to finally break free from anything that you feel isn't quite working for you, isn't quite right, and trust. Because the horse is the animal that says, you know, I need to run free every now and then. I need some, some space. I'm a free spirit. And you are a free spirit. And my feeling is that there are opportunities coming your way that are only coming your way when you let go of worries and um, of uh, trepidations. Um, and because you have the chipmunk, which is basically the animal that says to you, you see the world exactly for what it is. So you would already sensed if anything that comes your way isn't quite working. It's just time that you trusted this. Okay? Short and sweet. So the biggest thing for Aquarians to do this very week. Can you hear that? There's lots of traffic out there. Never even heard it like this before. Anyway. <laughs> okay? So for, for Aquarians, um, really important. You see the opportunities coming to you. Go for it. Don't have any fear because your intuition would have told you or will tell you what is and isn't working. Really, really important to trust. Trust your gut feeling. And do what you feel you ought to be doing and without thinking, oh my God, I'm going to look back on this and regret it. How do you know? Maybe it all works out, because that's exactly what these animal guides tell you here. Whatever opportunity comes your way, it will work out. Okie dokie, that was Aquarius. That was quick, wasn't it? Yeah. Pisces. We have the osprey and the mountain goat. What that means is that no matter what we feel at this point in time about our life and about when I say we, it's because I'm also Pisces. <laughs> so for us Pisceans, it's important to realize and to acknowledge how much progress we have made and that we are actually on a much straighter path, if that makes sense, than we have been on in a long time. So we're coming out of that feeling of mm, things aren't so great, I'm not quite sure what's going on. We're coming out of all this. And... Um, that's the osprey for you that says, look, you know, you have made progress. Um, really, really important to acknowledge this. And then we have the mountain goat. <coughs> Excuse me. We have the mountain goat, 
which is the animal that represents the very fact that this goat can hang on a cliff on two legs and doesn't fall. This is our animal guide that says, keep going, Pisceans. Let's just keep going and you will not fail. Thus, it is important for Pisceans to stop thinking in these black and white terms about, oh, I'm not good enough, I can't do this, what if. There is no what if. Do your thing to the best of your abilities and the universe will support you. Short and sweet for uh, Pisces. And now we're going into Aries. Aries, you are going still, you're still going through a phase of transformation and of change and be patient because what you're doing now is healing and cleansing and even though you may feel at this point in time uh, i'm probably one of those people that um we talked about in the overall energy <laughs> the people that you know could do with a with with someone looking out for them you're going to be all right see you have the great horned owl and what the owl does is she draws an auditory map which means she can hear the mouse in the undergrowth and then she can fetch the mouse without getting caught in the undergrowth. And the symbolism here is just to realize that yes, you're going through changes into transformations and there are still things that are not quite done yet, not quite finished, uh, especially with regards to healing. Not everything has left you yet. And yet, if you focus, if you truly focus on what it is, you feel like doing next it can only happen okie dokie short and sweet for aries now we're going into the next star sign which is taurus and remember we're looking at the week of february the 8th to the 14th 2021 taurians you have the wolverine and the arctic fox what the guides are saying to you is Yes, it is true, you're still struggling with life. Even if you have a week where you feel like, oh, I'm feeling great. Underlining and underlying, you might still feel, oh, you know, when is the next problem coming my way, <laughs> kind of thing. <clears throat> and all the guides are saying is, you're in the process still, just like the um, star sign before you in many ways, uh, of healing. And you have the Arctic fox. The fox tells you, that you are a very old soul and because things or life runs in cycles not in circles in cycles um, where um, things repeat themselves in different ways so that you can learn and accumulate everything you need to accumulate um, on your way to enlightenment for want of a better word so the, so the fox is saying to you you are that old soul. You have always learned. You have always managed. But because you have the Arctic fox, which of all the foxes is the most vulnerable due to where he lives, right now is not the time to make any rush decisions. Right now is not the time to um, make massive changes in your life. This is more a week for you to realize I am an old soul which means I will survive whatever life throws at me. And also, I have to say this the way this feels, it doesn't quite feel all that heavy for Taurians. It's just the energy that I get for Tauruses, for Taurians, is that sometimes when you're already down in the dumps, you stay there for whatever reason. <coughs> Self-motivation is not the easiest thing for you. And um, all the guides are saying is you will be fine. But acknowledge that you're vulnerable. Do things slowly. Okie dokie, that was Taurus going into Gemini. Well then, Gemini, if ever there was something short and sweet, and I know I always say that when I talk for England, but if there ever was anything short and sweet, this is it. For Geminis, what the universe is asking you to do, what your guides are asking you to do, is simply to be yourself. Really, really important. You do not have to 
to conf conf con sorry you do not have to conform all the time speak up if you feel you're in situations or relationships where you can't speak up reach out to your friends to help you with this but be yourself is really important because the mouse is one of those few rodents that isn't really scared of heights so the symbolism here is is that you see the world exactly for what it is you also can assess things very well and all the guides are saying is one of the reasons why things remain difficult for Gemini is because you put other people's needs before your own. Be yourself. Claim your strengths. And that's that. There was Gemini going into Cancerians, Cancer. And we're looking at the week of February the 8th to the 14th, 2021. Cancerians. It is really important and it is time for you to think clearly about what it is you really want to do. I'm not getting low energy with regards to how you feel. So it's not necessarily that the guides give me the feeling of, for Cancerians, everything isn't working, nothing is working and that kind of stuff. But somehow it feels like you're dreading water you're you're not getting anywhere it, everything feels tedious and um you're not progressing enough and all the guides are saying is maybe it is time you thought about really really thoroughly about what it is you want to do don't be afraid don't think well where i am right now isn't really working and i feel this is more maybe um opportunity slash work related than relationship then again right it's just energy, it could be both. But what the guides give me is, is energetically speaking, more, more opportunistic, um, where, the, where, there's, where, where the feeling is, there isn't really much happening. Um, and so I feel stuck. Cancerians do not feel stuck. You have the gray squirrel. The analogy is that the gray squirrel is, is collecting all these nuts, and then because he, he doesn't stop, he just collects them all on the way to his little thingy bob in the tree he loses half of them the equivalent therefore is you have all these thoughts and your mind is racing which is why you're not finding what it is you ought to focus on so for cancerians it is really really good idea this week to slow down maybe well not maybe i think this is just the way to go um Look into what meditations you can do. Look into what calming techniques speak to you. And be calmer. And have a little bit of faith that things will get better. Because sometimes when you feel you're stuck, you um, can make it worse by feeling, I will never get unstuck, <laughs> if that makes sense. So it can take quite a long um, while and can take quite some oomph from Cancerians before you actually... Uh, make changes yourself. Okie dokie, that was Cancerians going into Leo. Leos, your week does not have to be stressful. Your week, as a matter of fact, ought to not be stressful. What the Caribou is telling you, and, and you can see it in the Muldi as well, they're both spirit guides that have antlers. And every time you have antlers, it means protection. It doesn't mean fight, it doesn't mean aggression, it means protection. So right now, no matter what you're going through, you are protected by your guides. This is not getting worse. This is, this is even if you feel it might, this is about communication. This is about how do I express myself in any situation that feels a bit difficult. And the trick is to look at your spirit guides here and remember they're both skittish, which means you, you spook them and they're off. And that doesn't mean, you know, when things get, get, get tough, you will run. But it means like, you know, you're not really in the mood, in the spirit of, of confrontation right now. And because you have the mood here, which is basically the animal that is telling you, you know, take some rest, be calm, um, nurture yourself, look after yourself. 
that's the main thing to do for Leos this, this week, is to remain calm. And when you look at, at, at animals like the Karibu and the Muldia, you know, yes, they're not princesses, obviously, right? But if you see them, if you have seen them in real life, there are quite strong animals. And so, again, analogy is that, you know, you don't have to show your teeth all the time. You don't have to be aggressive to make your, to get your points across. You will just be fine. Stay grounded. Really, really important. Stay grounded and find a way just like in the, the, the star sign of Cancerians before you. And I always say that we oftentimes have overlapping energies anyway. Um, stay grounded. Stay calm. Be be present. Be in the now. It is the only time that counts. Be in the now. Do not allow anyone to stress you out. Right? That was Leo going into Virgo. And I say it again. We're looking at the week of February the 8th to the 14th, 2021. Virgo. I feel like a broken record <laughs> because yet another deer is showing up. We just had that with Leo, now we're in Virgo, and another deer is showing up, which means you too, Virgos, should avoid stressful situations. Really, really important to remember that your inner peace and your outer peace have to be one. You need and ought to be able to say and do anything that you want to do or that you feel you need to do at your own pace. That's still the message for you. Do everything at your own pace. Um, because you have the deer and the opossum, um, the, the message here is not to go for people. Not have a go at people that um, uh, annoy you, if that makes sense. Do things calmly this week. As you can tell, the overall energy here, um, uh, the overall energy earlier was uh, to look out after people. And, and to be fair, um, Leos and Virgo and Cancer to a certain extent are so far three star signs that could do with a bit of support. So reach out to the people you know. If you have no one, you know, take a deep breath, overeat, have a piece of cake, whatever, whatever floats your boat to get you out of this, uh, it's all rubbish kind of thing, all crap kind of feeling. Do that um, and rest a little because that's what I'm getting strongly for Virgo, uh, just as I had this for, for Leo and, and Cancerians. Um, make sure your energy is in the right place and you will be fine. There was Virgo going into Libra. Librans, you are fully protected. You are strong. You can see things. You're not in any danger. But you need to realize that you're not. Right? My feeling is that for, for some Librans out there, um, and I do believe that this is relationship uh, uh, related and not necessarily work related because it feels different when the guides give me a uh, relationship or love life kind of thing. So if you should be a person that is hoping for a relationship, then you first must realize that nobody can or ought to complete you. You have to be complete yourself, right? Once you know you're good enough the way you are, Anything that comes to you can be a bonus, and the universe is like this. Um, otherwise, they send you in between people. When you feel like I'm, I'm not whole, they send you someone who can't make you whole because you're not feeling whole already. So it is one of those things where the guides are, are basically showing me <clears throat> to look at your relationship. If you are in a relationship um, where you feel I'm not really supported, then it's time to speak up. Um, they're not talking to me here about um, breaking things off, but all bears have to do with femininity. All bears have to do with healing. And so acknowledge that you are um, vulnerable. And if you can't do this in a relationship, then something is already wrong. Okie dokie. 
Short and sweet. Scorpio. Scorpios things are already on the up. A lot of new opportunities are just waiting for you to look at them. But don't hide. Don't limit yourself to what you think you know. This is 2021 where everything is in flux. And obviously things are always in flux. But it feels this year um, people are still very um, unsure about what the future holds. And what the guides are saying is, Don't make this about politics. Make this about yourself. And if you feel that no matter what your background is, that the work that you used to do uh, isn't working, or if you're one of those people who actually are one of those people who are classed as um, um, an, a, a person that is, that is uh, an essential worker, and if this is your issue, that um, there's just too much going on, All the guides are saying is, if you say to the universe, I don't think this is for me, there must be something else I can do, then the universe will guide you. My feeling is that if you want change, you need to put the work in. This is not as easy as saying, like, okay, this isn't working, I'm going somewhere else. This isn't working, I'm doing something else. This is not about moving on all the time, whatever that means. This is about really reflecting on what is going on in your life, Scorpios, and ask the universe to help you with sending you new things that you can do. And if you really like what you do, then ask the guides to help you come out of your shell. Okie dokie, that was Scorpions, Scorpios going into Sagittarius. Sagittarians, what more? could you possibly want? What this week is about for you is quite interesting because what the guides are saying to you, this is a week for Sagittarians where you already excel. You are fully in charge of your destiny. You are exactly where you ought to be right now. If you feel <clears throat> that isn't true, then what happens is that your soul knows you're on the right path and you have reached the zenith of what is possible right now and the next step is about to be manifested. So look at your reality and if it doesn't match, do something about it because you have the grey wolf which tells you you are in charge and because you have an owl, we talked about the owl earlier, <clears throat> This is a clear sign for you that your inner wisdom knows what to do next. This is important because in a wolf pack, the individual wolves, even though everybody has their, their rank and their you know, sub subordinate wolves and leaders and all that kind of stuff, alphas, What the strength of the wolf pack is, is trust, is knowing that you can count on the others. Now, this is a representation of yourself. Trust your intuition. Trust that you will make the right choices. My feeling is you have to take the bull by the horns and, and finally realize that it is important that you, and this is the, the, the term that the guides give me, start over, that you go like, yeah, I'm going to do something with my life and I'm going to do it now, right? <clears throat> That's what I'm getting for Sagittarians. And overall, um, the energy for your star sign has certainly been the highest of all the star signs we talked about, right? There were Sagittarians going into the last star sign of the week. We're looking at the week of February the 8th to the 14th, 2021. And now we're looking into the star sign of Capricorn. Um, before we do that, please, guys, I'm trying new things, you know, new camera uh, angles and all that kind of stuff. So tell me if you like 
this uh, seeing the cards thing or if you are more comfortable seeing my <laughs> my my face you know just give me some feedback here it would be good um yeah that's that and now we're going into the last star sign of the week which is capricorn <laughs> capricorns what comes to mind is lazy you lazy lot and what i'm getting here is because you have the elk and the ocelot um, is rest i mean look at the, the depiction of the of the elk um, very relaxed the ocelot also is on a branch overlooking you know areas uh, focusing on on things so they're all very relaxed and what the guides are saying to capricorns this week all you need to do is to step back a little take a step back regroup look at how you're truly feeling and begin to focus on what it is you want to do so it can be manifested i said it earlier you can see here the elk has antlers every time you have an animal with antlers the universe or the guides are saying to you you are protected right now you can allow yourself to make changes because the universe has got your back okie dokie that was all we have time for that was this week see you all very very soon please subscribe uh, to the youtube channel please follow the the facebook page and um yeah and share widely thank you bye bye